offense, Chief Barzrag. I only seek to spread Trinamak's good words. Again with these Trinamak lies. Let me show you what Malakat thinks of your stupid words. Your anger is uncalled for, clan chiefs. Please excuse us, Solibra. I see our champion has returned. You? They pulled you into their madness? How disappointing. As you can see, the clan chiefs can be a contentious lot. They oppose King Kurog at every turn, especially on matters of faith. But tell me, was Kurog successful? Did you defeat the Winterborn Warlord? I knew you'd be able to help Kurog in his mission. Perhaps now the other clans will see that Kurog is destined to lead us all. Once all the clans unite, just imagine the power we will wield. The King sent for them. They are a few of the more vocal opponents to my son's plans, and they refuse to bend their knees to him. They are blinded by centuries of custom and tradition. They refuse to see the glory that King Kurog wants to bestow upon us all. Instead, they stick their heads in the mud like a frightened Argonian and pretend that the old ways are so much better. My son wants to free us from the traditions that hold us back. They mire us in outdated notions and restrictions. We need to become a modern society if we want the other kingdoms to respect us, to take us seriously. King Korog will make that happen. Excellent! Every... The time has come! Swear allegiance to me! Orsinium will prosper once the clans unite under my rule. This again, Kurog? Why should we submit to you this time? Behold! I wield the Blade of Iceheart. With the help of outsiders, I have vanquished our greatest foe and retrieved the stolen supply. The chiefs could not stop the Winterborn. Only I have accomplished that. You ask much, Kurog, to turn away from Malakath. To abandon our most cherished customs. Basrog, my old friend! Your outdated ideas will be the death of me! Don't tempt us, Kurog. Our traditions won't bend to the will of an idiot chief who decides to call himself King! Idiot! Chief! I am your king! You would all do well to remember that! Now get out of my sight! You embark on a dangerous path, Karog. We won't forget this. Treasonous bastards! I just saved their ungrateful arses, and this is the thanks I get? I even showed them my heart sword! How can I create a united nation when the chiefs refuse to accept my rule? More often than not, yes. There's always some fool who wants to quote the code of Malakath or insult my honor. It infuriates me! How can we build a respectable kingdom when we can't even abandon our most ridiculous superstitions? Targak, it was all I could do not to kill all three of those troll lovers. Let Basrog and Dular think about what happened. I only hope they can set aside old traditions and accept the future I envision. Their support would make things much easier. For now, no. Go explore Rothgar and get to know this great city. Enjoy yourself. When you're ready for a new challenge, find me at my private tavern in the city. I'm sure I'll have something that requires your specific skill set by then. Sorry for shouting at you. It must be this city. Makes me want to walk fast and speak loudly. Oh, you must remember me. The caravan? The Winterborn ambush? Thanks again for helping us with that. Well, not me, exactly. I came to Rothgar to elevate my status, and here I am running errands for the Orcs. Somewhat ignoble, but what can I say? Anyway, 
Your assistance against the Winterborn and in recovering their supplies hasn't gone unnoticed. The King himself has requested your presence at his private tavern here in Orsinium. You must have made quite an impression. You'll have to share your secrets with me sometime. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to put in a good word about me with the King. I'd so enjoy an invitation to his corner club. Try the iceberry ale. It's delicious. I love this place. Back at the keep, I'm always being pulled in a dozen directions. Fighting over here, debating over there, gives me a headache. But here, here, I can just eat and drink until I pass out. <laughs> Took you long enough to show up. I could have you flogged for that. Ha! 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 That look on your face! Priceless! But I'm just yanking your tusk. I usually never have anyone flock for a first offense. <laughs> it's a good thing I like you, because the last person who asked me these sorts of questions had the curiosity beaten out of him. But I don't want to fight with you. That's not why I called you here. Are you ready to listen? You helped Chief Basra. You fought at my side as we defeated Iceheart and his Winterborn warriors. In short, you impress me. People who impress me either turn out to be a help or a hindrance to my plans. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me speak plainly. You could pose a threat to me, but I prefer to consider you an ally. Share a few drinks, like we're doing now. I could use someone like you. Someone to deal with problems that require a more personal touch. Clan chief problems. There are still stubborn chiefs out there who don't agree with my vision. Who don't want to see our people united. They're stuck in the old ways. Ways that have failed our people time and time again. It's time to change that. You made an impression on Bosrog. Whether he likes it or not, he owes you for helping the clans. The other chiefs respect Bosrog. We can use this whole situation to our advantage. Get them to listen to matters they would normally refuse to hear. For now, nothing. Relax, have a drink. Enjoy all the pleasantries that Roxanne and her fine establishment have to offer. But when I need you, I expect you to be ready and willing to get the job done. Oh, for what are those two doing here? Damn it! You two always show up and ruin my fun! Oh, I have not even begun to ruin your fun, my king. But let's leave the pleasantries for later. <clears throat> we have an urgent situation to report. I can never tell when you're joking. Fine. What's so important? The Trinimac Temple has been attacked, my beloved. Malakath devotees have barricaded the doors and taken the priests as hostages. These fanatics dare to attack my city? My people? I'll deal with them personally. You will do no such thing, my son. After what happened in the throne room, this is undoubtedly a trap. I won't sit by while they attack my city! This problem requires a personal solution, and I have a perfect idea. Outsider, let us talk. Uh. My son's bravery borders on stupidity. He would run off and stumble blindly into their trap without the slightest regard for his safety. We must not allow that to happen. Oh, child, I always have a better idea. 
My son's rage makes it difficult for him to see clearly. His instinct is to charge every problem straight on and beat it into submission. His enemies know this and often use it against him. Basrag and the other clan chiefs know King Kurog all too well. They expect him to attack and kill the heretics, just as the heretics will kill the hostages. Innocent lives will be lost and blame will fall squarely on Kurog's shoulders. You are an outsider with connections to Orsinium that are tenuous at best. Enter the temple and rescue our people. If you succeed, you save innocent lives at the king's request. If you fail, well... At least the king won't be blamed. The orc smell, the Nords are rude, and the Bretons... Gods, don't get me started on the Bretons. streets and go home. Let the king's soldiers deal with this. Back away, citizen. We have enough to deal with as it is. My soldiers can't do their job with all you civilians getting underfoot. Just because you carry a weapon doesn't mean you know how to use it. And as you can see, I already have more amateur warriors volunteering to help than I can handle. Why don't you just stand back and leave this to the professionals? Right, and I'm High King Emmerich's long-lost brother. I know what you're trying to do. You're playing a dangerous game, Outsider. I hope you realize that. Very well, I'll check with the Forge Mother. But if you've lied to me, I'll hunt you down, toss you in a cell, and throw away the key! You think there's a back entrance up the stairs near the Mages Guild? I sent soldiers to find it. I never knew the orcs were capable of building such wonders. Defend the temple! Trinamak, you're here. 
Someone has to save my fellow priests inside the temple. Please, I, I need your help. The priests inside the temple are at the mercy of these fanatics. Please, I think they want to kill my brothers and sisters in Trinimac. Malakath fanatics. They burst into the temple and began rounding up my fellow priests. They spat at us and shouted that we were betraying our race. They said that Chief Basrag sent them to punish us for opposing the true god of the orcs. They made such a commotion when they barged in. I spotted them from the upper balcony and slipped out the back door. I was about to go find help when more of those ruffians surrounded me. I thought I was finished, and then you showed up. They invoke the chief's name, saying he seeks revenge against the king and any who follow the false god. I've known Chief Basrag to be a hard man, but never a cruel man, never a murderer. What has the king done to anger him so? I see. I respect the king and all that he stands for, but his temper, it has gotten us into trouble more times than I care to remember. If it's vengeance Basrag seeks, then the king will be responsible for the deaths of the temple priests. My fellow priests were still alive when I slipped out of the temple, but the tension in the air, I'm afraid violence is inevitable. They set up patrols inside the temple, watching for Kurag and his soldiers. If one of them spots you in there, they're holding the priests captive in the rectory. If one of the torchbearers spots you and reaches the rectory, you won't be able to save them. Avoid the torchbearers at all costs, or at least strike them down before they can sound a warning. Take this key. It will unlock the temple's rear entrance. Once inside, you'll need to find the key to the rectory, where they're holding my fellow priests. The fanatic who gives the orders, their commander, he probably has the key to the rectory. May the luck of Trinimac be with you. I'll inform the guards and try to send more help your way. in the rectory. As soon as Kurog arrives, we kill them all.
Just leave us alone! Going to kill us. I don't know how to thank you. These fanatics, they beat us, threatened us. They told us they were going to kill us as soon as the king or his soldiers showed up. But you got in without alerting them. You saved us. The others, though. High Priestess Salgra and our brothers and sisters in Trinamac. The fanatics gathered us up and forced us in here. But Salgra, she isn't one to put up with such nonsense. She put a blade into one of them and ran into the back to help the others. I have the key. I'll open the door for you. Find the others, please. I don't know what Solgra planned to do, but she had that look in her eyes when the fanatics started hurting our people. Solgra and the others should be somewhere through this door. I plan to kill a dozen more if you don't leave my temple now.
The odds got a little overwhelming. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine once I catch my breath. Just got the wind knocked out of me a little, that's all. Not exactly. They claimed to be devoted followers of Malakath, and said they were working for Chief Basrag. They caught us by surprise, threatened us. Did you run into Ugas? How are he and the others faring? Well, that puts my mind at ease. I hated leaving them, but the others back here needed help too. But I'm still not completely certain what the attackers hope to accomplish. Why take us hostage? Why not simply kill us and be done with it? Spill the blood of innocents and blame the king for their deaths, for not being able to protect his people. What a fiendish scheme. But the king sent you in his stead. Very astute on his part. That decision may have saved many lives. We were supposed to assume they were Malakath devotees, but they didn't seem particularly religious to me. Even I don't believe Malakath would sanction a slaughter such as this. They mentioned Chief Basrag, though. Said he gave them their orders. I've always found the Chief to be noble, but it doesn't take a lot to change a person. His forts ravaged, his traditions threatened. I can see how such things could lead to this. The King and the Forge Mother must be told what happened here. I'm glad to see you and the priest alive. I believe things may have played out very differently if you hadn't agreed to my plan. But what of the High Priestess? Is Solgra all right? That is good news indeed. I will make sure that a military contingent protects this temple going forward. It will not be left undefended again. Increased patrols around the perimeter, soldiers assigned to guard the inside of the temple. The priests will not have to live in fear of another attack, not so long as my son is king. I assume you know who claimed responsibility for this? Bosrog has never agreed with Kurog. He made threats in the throne room, as I'm sure you heard. Besides, his boldness and devotion to Malakath are legendary. It appears Bosrog wishes to challenge our king. My son needs to solidify his hold on the clans. All of the chiefs must accept Kurog as their king for the betterment of the Orsama people. If we gain support of the clans, we can stop Basrog without inciting an all-out war. You have done much already. Many lives were in danger, yet somehow you managed to make sure none were lost. Please, take this for being so careful with my people and keeping their safety in mind. We will find you again when the king needs you. Solgra, my child, come join us. Are you injured? Should I call Thanks here? to our friend, I am well and ready to serve. Yes, a 
our call for assistance has already proven to be a more than worthwhile endeavor. 